Hello. It's been some time since I've made a video and uh, I was thinking to myself that uh, maybe it's time to do a new one uh, on this website, new website from the guys at uh, Leia. The people that that bring you uh, red hydrogen and the loom pad. So they they came up with a website that claims to convert uh, 2D images into 3D. So how did how do they do it? Well, it's quite simple. So basically, they are using this one boosting monocular depth that's on github so it's uh, AI powered and I will I will give I mean you can just get the link there but I made a video about this uh, so you can do it yourself using uh, Google Collab of course and I'll, I think I'll put the link to the video I made in the comments and so that's the part that gets you the depth map and uh, they are also using Depfi. I don't know if that website still exists, but uh, yeah, it, look, it looks to be. It was used to do um, animated uh, GIFs, animations, and you could uh, you could edit the depth map also. So that's what uh, they use for uh, uh, editing the depth map and maybe also for the animations. So okay. So let's try this thing. What's cool about this website is that you have everything in one in one uh, spot. You don't have to screw around with uh, Google Collab and then go into some into GIMP to fix the depth map. Although I'm sure it's gonna have shortcomings. So let's try it. So the first thing you do is that you upload your 2D image. So in my case. I took a picture from the movie uh, Niagara, Niagara, with uh, Marilyn, of course, from the 50s. So the first thing it does is calling uh, boosting mono monocular depth to get the depth map. It doesn't take long, by the way. It takes 30 seconds. Okay, so you get those wiggles thing. So here you have the control to animation length so that controls how fast the thing is uh, going around. I could just show it so you can change that. So here it's two seconds you can change it easy enough. The style so that either it's going to turn in circles, ellipses or straight line. Myself I like horizontal so I'm going to click on horizontal. So now it's, you see, it's, it's going side by side. Uh, what else? So then the amount of motion as yeah, that controls basically the, your max parallax, how much, or wild, or wild the uh, oscillations are going to be. So I think yeah, it's regular. You can do more. Okay, so that's the more. I'm gonna go back to regular, perhaps. By the way, the depth map is pretty good. So, but we'll look at that a little bit later. The focus point is basically the point of zero parallax. So you can either, like here, uh, the background is fixed and the foreground is the one that moves the most, but you can change that. Uh, so the focus point, oh right now it's center, so I think if you do far, then the background is not going to move at all. No, no, it's the reverse. So now, like the, the coke bottle doesn't move, the background moves the most, and if you do close, it's going to be the reverse. Okay, so now the background is fixed and this is the, the one that moves the most. So let's go back to center. Okay, so that's that's discussed. 
so that's pretty good uh, actually it's very good so now let's see if we can edit edit the dev map oh it doesn't work so it's not this it's this this one this icon with the, the depth planes so edit actually uh, controls the animation it doesn't control the dev map so here you see like uh, the dev map in transparency which is uh, okay I guess but if you want to see the actual dev map you click on uh, here on the preview so the first click gets you to the animation and the next click it's magical you get the dev map and as you can see it's uh, it's quite good uh, maybe a mistake here at the record player so uh, in my case uh, what would I do to fix it I would probably fix it here maybe the the boundary I think is the is a bit uh, it has fat boundaries I think you could fix that up because it's in the foreground uh, yeah so you want to fix what's in the foreground primarily okay so let's see how you uh, how you do that so you have two ways to do it using a brush of course and the brush you can control uh, the size of the brush so this is I don't know why I still see oh no it's okay yeah this okay dev don't worry about it for now so the size that's the size of the brush hardness is the uh, entire alia aliasing business so I'll leave it as is and opacity oh, well you know what that means so I'll leave that as is so picker this is a picker or level and if you use dev fee before it's the same thing so picker so now it becomes uh, bluish purpley bluish so you click uh, so let's say I want to so let's say I click here and then I can brush so here I'm gonna brush somewhere else I'm gonna brush here so you get that same level of, level of depth the same grayscale value so you have to click again you do it somewhere else so I click here and then I can brush same value as this uh, what else I probably should uh, undo both of them hopefully I can do ha ah. so there's only one level only one level of undo so let's redo since now we cannot go back okay level level is a bit different uh, and you see it says a plus thing on the arrow so what you do is that you click you click and you stay okay so let's do it here so let's say I want to use this uh, level and I want to put it to make it go this way so I would click and keep clicking I don't let go of the click and I just do this so now everything is gonna be that color I think that's good to uh, to adjust the boundaries so I do it here like here I'm gonna do it for the, the record player the back of it so you do this and you can just you know what I'm saying okay so you click click left it clicked and then you just it's very simple and of course every time you can uh, switch between uh, the transparency thing so you can see the dev map and the image at the same time and the animation so that's that's pretty good that's that's pretty good um, it's pretty good but it's not perfect let's put it that way I, I still would prefer to use GIMP 
to do my changes because in GIMP you can do selection and stuff like that. So, but you know, it's 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 useful. Okay, so now the last. Okay, of course you can do also uh, full screen. I forgot about that. So that's full screen. So now, what do you do with all this? So the the last step is the share step. So let's see. Let's see what we can do with this thing. So I'm just going to look at ways to save it. So save as GIF, save as MP4, and save as a LIF, which I assume is the light field for the loom pad. What I'm interested in, actually, because I do lenticular, I'm interested in the uh, the sequence. Basically, the sequence in the in the in the GIF files, in the GIF file, or or the MP4. So I'm gonna save both of them here. See what they look like. Uh, full size save. So that's that's depth fee depth fee stuff. So I don't know why it's changing the. No, it's at the bottom. That's weird. Save as MP4. Yes, yes, please. Full size. Okay. So I want to see what the if you, if it's if I can recover the the frames. So I'll be right back. So I'm done with that uh, Leia Pix converter. I'll give it. Uh, out of uh, out of what five thumbs up? I'll give it uh, I'll give it a four, I guess. Uh, I mean, it's 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 pretty good. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So what I did is I I loaded the 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 GIF file into GIP to into GIMP, and I of course I get all the frames. So frame there here. Yeah. Uh, so frame, you see, it's moving. So you get so frame twenty. You get twenty frames. So if you do lenticulars or whatever, you can probably extract um, extract. I don't know, maybe twelve frames or whatever. So I think it's doable. Okay, I just want to see what the MP4 looks like. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back with the MP4, which I loaded into AVI DMOX. So if I press play, I use AVI DMOX because you can save the uh, you can save the uh, frames. Okay, that's why I use it. So if I press play. You could also get the. Uh, you could also get the. Uh, the frames that way. But let me just check the size of it. So let's see. So this is my original image. So let's look at the size. Make sure everything is at the same size. Ah, details. So seven thirty-five by seven thirty-five by five six eight. This is the what the gif. Uh, yeah. So now it's five twelve. So it's reduced to five twelve. Okay, what about the MP4? Eight hundred. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so well, that's the way it is, I guess. Okay, so I'm gonna stop here. Uh, let's go back to that 
everything here. So I don't know why all of a sudden the the menu used to be on the left and now I'm on I'm here. Like a mobile display or something. So I don't know something is is wrong somewhere. So anyway, yeah uh, if uh, Leia could uh, as a uh, to save uh, like save a sequence, that'd be cool. Save a sequence, that'd be cool. So uh, let's say I want to save uh, 12, 12 frames. Let me save 12 frames. That's what I'm asking. Anyway, uh, again, uh, kudos to uh, Leia for doing this. I think it's pretty cool. So, uh, if you like this kind of content, please uh, like, comment, subscribe in any order, and I'll try to make more. See ya!